Hey, it's FX. I wanted to create a video on self-compassion because it's really important. It's a really important topic. Now, self-compassion ties into the, the idea of self-care. In fact, to me, the spirit of self-care is self-compassion. Now, the reason I bring up self-compassion and not self-care is because of this. I've seen many people, and myself very much included, <laughs> have decided to, to be better in some way, to do something different. So we might choose something like exercise, meditation, maybe reading, reading a new book, whatever it is. We decide to start new practices to take care of ourselves, to practice self-care. However, I'm very guilty of this. A lot of us don't bring that spirit of self-compassion or the spirit of self-care to self-care. So I noticed in my life and many other people's lives that they might start an exercise program and then push themselves too hard and injure themselves because they're trying to get results quickly or they should be they should be better or they should 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 right things should be different I should be stronger I should have done this sooner I'm you know this this I should have these results and that gets in the way of self care or they might you know uh, be trying to do something with yoga or meditation, say meditation, and then they're trying to quiet the mind, and then they're being mad at themselves because thoughts are popping in their head. And now what they're doing is they're introducing stress into that practice, right? Ugh. So letting all of that go, I wanted to talk a little bit about what self-compassion is, because it's not so much that. It's not being hard on yourself. It's not living in the shoulds and the shouldn'ts. Self-compassion in a way, is radical self-acceptance. And I feel like nowadays it's not even that radical, but it may be. Self-compassion is letting go of excessive guilt and shame. The reason I say excessive is because all emotions have a purpose. Anxiety even has a purpose. Shame has a purpose, right? Guilt. It lets us know when we've made a mistake. Now, the difference between shame and guilt in a healthy way and a not so healthy way is when it's excessive, right? It's when it becomes a barrier to progress, when we're stuck over there and we can't make it through because we're guilty and shaming ourselves. So by letting go of excessive shame and guilt, we can shift into a place where we can pat ourselves in the back, where we can celebrate the small wins, and we can create this spirit where there's no such thing as failure, only feedback, right? Because take an example where you catch yourself being hard on yourself, maybe experiencing excessive guilt or shame. In that moment, there is no failure because you're noticing that that's happening. And when you're aware that's happening, then you can change because now you've learned. You've used this as an example to learn how to be different, what you would like to be different, right? And you can celebrate that as a small win. I'm aware that I'm doing this. That's my win for today. Because now that I'm aware, I know what I would like to be doing instead. And that's why this is so important this is such an important first step for anything we want to do in life because we've both we've been in both situations. Maybe maybe we haven't, maybe we don't remember a time when it's been this easy, but we've all been in this situation, right? Where we're just beating ourselves up and we beat ourselves up so much that we never even start that thing we're wanting to do, right? We just that guilt and shame keeps us from even ever trying. So knowing that and that's what we're going to get when we're hard on ourselves. It's almost a no-brainer to let go of excessive shame and guilt. And to pat yourself on the back. And to focus on how far you've come. To focus on everything you've learned. To focus on who you want to become. So we're going to create more videos around this. We're going to dive deeper. This is the perfect opportunity to open it up to you. What is self-compassion for you? 
I shared what it is for me. It's letting go of excessive guilt and shame. It's being easy on yourself. It's patting yourself on the back. It's focusing on the small wins. And it's a spirit of being curious. What can I learn from this situation? So what is self-compassion for you? Please let me know because I'm super curious and I would just love to know what self-compassion is for you because it's really important. So thank you for stopping in and have a good day.